All right, this week's video is about can you be overweight and healthy? The answer to that is no. No, you cannot, guys. You, you cannot be. And we're going to go over just a few of the reasons that what I'm telling you is true. So the first thing, right, is what are you describing as healthy? Like, is this the kind of story where you say, oh, my grandfather smoked a pack a day and he didn't die until he was 90? I mean, well, then maybe he could have lived to 110 because I promise you he would have been even healthier if he didn't smoke. So if you can tick off some of the things I'm about to tell you, right, that happen when we are obese or significantly overweight and say, oh, I know someone, they're 350, 400 pounds, they don't struggle with that. Okay, and, and that's a miracle. But I promise you that they're going to be struggling with one of the obesity-related health conditions at one point or another. So let's look at the statistics, right? Obesity kills 40,000 people a month. It's the number one killer of human beings, okay? Obesity-related diseases, of which there are at least 70. Everything from increasing your chances of dementia by 42% to osteoarthritis issues with regard to the weight on your joints, like your knees, for example. I mean, hormone-related conditions like polycystic ovarian syndrome, type 2 diabetes, fertility problems, heart disease, certain types of cancer, all. Number one contributing factor, obesity. Okay, so let me just say this is not something to be ashamed of. And this is where I think we're creating all of this misinformation because we're so worried about hurting people's feelings that we start lying about basic scientific truths. And that's not doing anyone any favors, right? If you had a friend that smoked a pack a day, you'd say like, hey, dude, I'm worried about you. This is gonna kill you. You wouldn't love that friend any less, right? Same situation. So let's get into the basic science of it. And I mean, I've been doing interview after interview and it's like, ah, you know, Jillian, you don't know. You have no idea, and, and, and research says that you know people can be overweight and healthy. It's just, it's a lie. So let's look at some, some basic things that are affected by weight. So we've talked about fat before, right? Fat is essentially stored energy. But we haven't really talked about what fat is doing in your body, and it is causing a hell of a lot of problems when it's over-accumulating. So one of the things that it does, just one, is it disrupts the hell out of your biochemistry, your hormone balance. So for example, right, stored fat does everything from influence something called adiponectin, which regulates your, helps to regulate insulin levels, to another hormone called resistin, which helps your liver flush out bad cholesterol. It releases inflammatory proteins called cytokines. And I mean, I could go on and on and on. This is just what happens when we store excess fat in the body, how it's impacting your hormones. All this stuff, guys, bad, bad. Now, let's think about where and how fat is stored in the body. So I even have some diagrams for you back here, diagrams, images. So the first thing you've got is subcutaneous fat, right? And this is fat that gets stored under the skin, okay? So it's maybe that little love handle, little wing here on the arm. That's not terrible. Then the next thing you've got is something called visceral fat. Now visceral fat gets in and around your organs. That's bad, really bad. Then you've got something even worse called ectopic fat. And ectopic fat is basically a weapon of mass destruction. It, it essentially plants itself in your organs, right? Your heart, your brain, your liver, and it, it will kill you. Period. End of story. It's something called um, lipotoxicity, essentially. So I'm going to show you an image, all right? So you believe me, okay? So bottom line, you're obese. Your body is storing that as fat, right? We know that we're overweight. So, okay. This right here is a fat that has... Ec this right here is a heart with ectopic fat. This is a healthy heart. What you're seeing here is visceral fat. Fat... This part subcutaneous under the skin, this part all around the organs, visceral fat, okay? 
these things kill you. They kill you. They kill you. So inherently, if we have too much fat in the body, it's going to do that. It's not a question. It's not a question. It's basic biology, basic biochemistry. So when it sounds really PC to be like, well, we don't know if this kills people. Yes, it does. It does. And, and I am, there's no judgment. No one is less than. It's just basic science. So these things in the body cause all kinds of problems, as I mentioned, right? From cellular death to, I mean, osteoarthritis, dementia, cancer, heart disease, blah, blah, blah. The list goes on. Um, but let's, even if you want to deny that one, let's look at this one. Now, just for us to get nutrients and energy from our food, we're going to have something called free radical formation. Now, now this is, this is normal. This is, this is part of aging and what have you. And it's, it's part of the metabolic process, but when it is out of whack and these free radicals are over accumulating, okay, then you've got all kinds of damage in the body to soft tissues. Your cells don't function properly. It's damaging your DNA. Like when we eat too much, the byproduct, it's again, it's just, it, it isn't like, well, maybe, no, 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 maybe the byproduct is going to be excess free radical formations, free, free radical formation and free radicals bad, so bad. Hence the reason we like antioxidant foods, which I'll do in another video. So I'm just listing a few of the ways that being overweight is bad for you. I can't tell you again, like it's not, it's not a question. It's not a take. It's just basic science and a biochemist, a biologist, an internist, any MD can explain this to you even better than me. But when someone tells you that it is possibly healthy, that's just not the truth. So maybe they're looking at one factor of like, well, you know, this person's overweight, but their blood pressure is low. Okay. But are they looking at all the different stuff? No, this person's overweight, but their cholesterol isn't through the roof. Okay. But again, are they looking at all these different factors about whether or not you're going to get dementia at 50 because you've got all this fat that's being stored in your brain. So again, there's nothing to be shamed about. It's just simple health-based facts that allow us to make decisions, right? Better decisions about what we want for ourselves. Now, with that said, let's take a contestant like somebody I might've worked with in the past, right? They would come and they would have, let's say, type two diabetes, polycystic ovarian syndrome, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, all these inflammatory markers that were off the charts. And within two months, they might still be overweight, but all of those things would be reversing at a very rapid pace. Now, they were much healthier, but that's because they were engaged in eating healthy foods, eating less food, moving a heck of a lot more often, getting their sleep, drinking their water, taking their supplements. So they're actively engaged in healing the body. They're not actively engaged in overeating, eating crap food and being sedentary. So that is really the only example of somebody who's overweight but healthy because they're currently engaged in getting healthy. And we can talk about um, a genetic propensity for obesity. I'll do that in another video, but I promise you that that's about 3% of the problem here. And even a predisposition to obesity has been shown that um, interventions with food and fitness can reverse that, turn it around and affect your genetic expression. So, Eat less, move more, take better care of yourself because we want you to have the longest life possible and the best quality of life. Oh, and one more shitty fact, okay? Obesity related diseases are the number one cause of bankruptcy in this country. So if it's causing this much bankruptcy and this many people to die, maybe it's not good for you.